Ball game, second quarter, 10-7. Jeff Dover representing the shovel pass to Basil Mitchell. Touchdown, Dover. It's 14-23, 217, two touchdowns. Kid is right-handed. Watch the sick left-handed throw. He also ran for a touchdown. Late fourth, TCU, 21-18. Last chance for SMU, but Chris Sanders pass picked off by Barry Browning. Rich, watch this. I believe the brothers giving up the coach. State could keep them from winning the national title. A little controversy before the game, but things settled down. First quarter, Gators have six, nothing. Fred Taylor, oops, coughs it up. Sam Coward picks it up and takes it in. 15-yard TD, 7-6 Florida State. On the ensuing Florida possession, Taylor, who had scored a touchdown already in the game, coughs that one up. Corey Simon recovering for Florida State. Led to a field goal. They went out in front 17-6 to the Knowles. The Gators rotated quarterbacks all day. Noah Brindice coming in here on the play action. Brindice, great protection. Coverage not very good for FSU either. Travis McGriff wide open. 50 yards down to the six. Brindice threw for 100 yards. McGriff popped. Next play, Doug Johnson in a QB, and he finds McGriff. Six-yard TD. Gators cut it to 17-12. On the very next Florida series, Johnson looking for Jacquez Green, and he finds him. Nice catch. Seven catches, 145 yards for Green. The replay confirms what we already suspected. That was a nice grab. Led to another Taylor TD. Gators in front by one at the half. Third quarter, Florida down 20-18. Taylor, first down and lots more. 61 yards on the play. 162 yards on the ground for him. Gators back on top, 25-20. But the Knowles coming right back on the very next series. It's the freshman, Travis Miner, keeping his balance beautifully. Takes it in from 18 yards out. Steve Spurrier not pleased. Knowles on top, 26-25. Fourth quarter now, Gators on the move. Johnson to Nafis Kareem. Wins the battle with Dexter Johnson, snaring it beautifully. Sets up Collins Cooper for the 28-yard field goal. But he misses it. Steve Spurrier says, my kicker has two last names. Florida State still up by one. Minor turns on the burners. 36 yards on the play. All the way down to the Gators. Six, 142 yards rushing for Minor. Set up a field goal. Knowles in front, 29-25. Steve Spurrier, some words for Johnson. Perhaps he said to lead us on an 80-yard drive. Whatever he said, it worked. First play of the drive, Johnson, Green. 63 yards before all is said and done. All the way down to the Florida State 17-yard line. On the next play, it's Taylor. Off the draw play. 16 yards down to the one. On the very next play, Taylor taking it in. His fourth touchdown of the game. So the Gators go 80 yards in three plays. They're in front 32-29. But did they score too quickly? Florida State, one last chance. Thad Busby picked off by Dwayne Thomas. And the Gators go absolutely bonkers as they pull off the upset. The Seminoles' perfect season is no more. The Gators holding on for the... Michigan trying to make a run for the Roses. Early on, Charles Woodson and David Boston battle it out. And heated rivalry, as you can see. No flags on the play, but the adrenaline certainly flowing then. No score when Stanley Jackson drops back. Throws to a wide open David Boston, but he overthrows in one of his five in completion. He was four for nine for 49 yards. Then second quarter, Woodson now on offense. Beats Ahmed Plummer here to the inside. Makes the great catch. 37 yards on this play to set up Michigan's first touchdown. They're up 7 nothing. Then second quarter. Woodson had not returned a punt for a touchdown this season, but look out here. Breaks a couple of tackles, heads to the outside, and he is gone. 78 yards on the touchdown, his longest career punt return. Michigan up 13 0 because the extra point was blocked. Now to the third quarter. Buckeyes down 13 0, and Bartholomew back to punt, but they run a fake, and Jerry Rudzinski is going to carry and stumble for the first down. Five plays later, Jackson looking for D. Miller in the end zone, but it's picked off by the omnipresent Charles Woodson, and why don't you give him the Heisman? Next Ohio State possession, more trouble for Jackson. He's under pressure. And throws it, but right to Andre Weathers. And Weathers is off to the races. 43 yards for the touchdown. And the Wolverines are up 20 to nothing. Still third quarter now. Joe Germain now in at quarterback for the Buckeyes. And he will drop back. Fired deep for Boston. Boston uh, it does have the catch. And then taunts Charles Woodson Boston bragged earlier the Buckeyes could win by two or three touchdowns now fourth quarter Brian Greasy under pressure 
Gary Berry makes the hit and causes the fumble. Rudzinski recovers and is brought down at the two-yard line. Greasy was sacked four times. Now, Jermaine throws deep to Boston, but look at Marcus Ray. Completely upend him. He will be okay after the hard hit. Now, final minutes of the game. Buckeyes down 20 to 14. Buckeyes on the blitz. Greasy throws left, and it's almost picked off by Andy Katzenmoyer. One last chance for the Buckeyes. Jermaine up the middle to Boston, but it's knocked down incomplete. Jermaine just 5 of 17 for 84 yards, and Woodson hungry for the Roses. All right, the win gives Michigan its first win. Wisconsin and Penn State. Joe Paterno uh, still looking for a share of the Big Ten title in the first quarter. Mike McQuery finds Joe Juravicious for the 21-yard touchdown. McQuery completed his first 12 passes. Wow, last play of the first half. McQuery rolls right, and this is a Hail Mary. And Juravicious will answer it. 42 yards for the touchdown. McQuery, two touchdowns, 219 yards in the first half alone. Take a second look. Jura Vicious here leaps over the Wisconsin defenders to make the touchdown. He caught four balls for 101 yards. Third quarter round. First play after Penn State stopped Wisconsin on fourth down. Curtis Enos is gone. 78 yards for the touchdown. He would rush for 138 yards. And Penn State would get the win. They remain in position for a major bowl bid after they beat up on Wisconsin. The Nittany Lions. The Battle of L.A. Trojans down 7 zip. Their very first play from scrimmage. John Fox to R.J. Soward. 80-yard touchdown pass. Eight catches, 181 yards for Soward. That ties it up at 7 quite quickly. USC assistant coach Charles White and UCLA skip Hicks. Tied for the all-time Pac-10 touchdown lead coming into today, but Hicks says not anymore. He didn't literally say it, but he said it with his action. 16-yard TD. He's now the career leader with 54. Bruins in front, 14-7. USC's next possession, they're forced to punt. Jim Wren boots one to Eric Scott, who fumbles it. USC recovers. That will lead to a Trojan touchdown. We're even at 14. Second quarter, still even. Chad Morton, the younger brother of Detroit Lion, Johnny Morton. His only good gain of the day, but it was quite a good one. 49 yards for the TD, 10 carries, 64 yards for him. USC up 21-14. John Robinson feeling good. Third quarter now, even at 21. Cade McNown for Mike Greeb. And he finds him, and Greeb barreling his way 38 yards into the end zone. One of three TD tosses for McNown. Bruins take a 28-21 lead. Fourth quarter, it's 31-21. Bruins, Fox picked off in the end zone by Javelin Gidry. And Gidry, solid return before he's finally pushed out of bounds in his own 39. UCLA dodges a bullet. USC, though, still gets within seven at 31-24. And then Adam Abrams, the onside kick, he boots it lefty. And the trickery works. USC recovers. But following a sack and two incompletions on a fourth and 20, Fox is picked off by Waswasser Wanga. And UCLA hangs on. Now they had to sit and watch and hope for a Washington win over Washington State for it would put UCLA in Pasadena. So with no further ado, the Apple Cup. A Washington State win means they go to the Rose Bowl because UCLA won. We explained that earlier. Department of Redundancy Department. Second quarter. Tied at seven. Can we tackle people? Chris Jackson, who had eight catches, 185 yards, puts the Cougs in front, 14-7 on the 57-yard grab. Third quarter, 24-14, Wazoo. Leaf, his only mistake of the day. Ryan Leaf picked off by Tony Parrish. 31-yard touchdown. It's a 24-21 game. Next possession, Leaf looking for Jackson again, and he finds him again. 51 yards on the play. Leaf, Leaf threw for 351. Cougars up 10 at 31-21. Now 41-28 Washington State. Huskies threatening. Brock Heward intercepted by Lamont Thompson. Thompson's third INT of the game. Heward picked off five times. Leaf and throws to Newcomb. More college football, Tennessee and Kentucky. There's Tim Couch and Peyton Manning is trying to impress the Heisman voters. This would help. To Marcus Nash, one-handed grab, and he's going to go 59 yards for the touchdown. He caught seven balls for 195 yards, and then it's Couch's turn. He dumps it off to Keogh Sanford, and Sanford will do the rest, dodging tacklers, cutting it back, and then he's going to be off to the races. 87 yards for the touchdown. He caught nine balls for 147 yards. It's 17-14 Tennessee. But Manning 
would get the best of his counterpart in this one. Manning to Nash again on the slant, 66 yards for the touchdown. Manning 25 of 35 for a school record, 523 yards, and Manning wasn't finished. Nash again, 31 yards for the touchdown, and Peyton Manning led the Vols. Past Alabama and Auburn, we don't need to say any more. Third quarter, Freddie Kitchens hands to Sean Alexander, hurdles the defender, in for the touchdown from 13 yards out. He rushed for 64 yards. Bama's up 17-6. Fourth quarter now, Chris Kemp from 38 yards, and it's wide. Lead stays at five. Auburn would get a field goal to cut it to 17-15, but Bama gets the ball back with less than a minute to go. Kitchens to Ed Sism. Sism up, loses the ball, and Auburn recovers. So there's 21 seconds left. Jared Holmes on to attempt a 39-yard field goal, and Sism is upset. The kick is up, and it is good. And Auburn is up 18-17, and Terry Bowden is ecstatic, while Holmes will fall to his knees and give thanks. And Sism, of course, he's visibly upset. Now, 15 seconds left, though. Perhaps Sism a chance to redeem himself off the kickoff. He will take it and bounce off a tackler and then refuse to go down. Sism just churning out yardage, but then wait a minute, we got a 15-yard face mask, so that makes it a 57-yard field goal, and Alabama Saints' A.J. Diaz into it, attempt his first collegiate attempt from 57 yards to win the Iron Bowl. Tell you what, it looks good, but it comes up just short. Kitchens can't believe it. And Auburn is victorious, and Jarrett Holmes' 39-yard field goal with 15 seconds left gave Auburn the win, and the no score. Orlandis Gary takes the handoff, and he will scamper 11 yards for the touchdown to make it seven nothing Bulldogs. Still first quarter, we're tied at seven when Robert Edwards will break a few tackles. He gets in, he had 105 of his 180 rushing yards in the first half, and then the fourth quarter, Ole Miss with a Hail Mary. Stuart Partridge launches it, it's tipped around. Corey Peterson makes the catch for the touchdown. Partridge would throw for 209. In the third quarter, tied at 14. That is when the Tar Heels break it open. Chris Keldorf to Octavius Barnes, 59-yard TD. Keldorf, 19 for 32. Carolina in front, 21-14. Still in the third, Duke QB David Green picked off by Kivu Sama Mays. One of five interceptions on the day for North Carolina. Fred Goldsmith says, don't do that again. But really too late for that because Keldorf here hits Nay Brown. I, one of six grabs for him. UNC scores 50 straight points. Break Mississippi State visiting the Hogs. Second quarter, Arkansas driving. Clint Storner to Emmanuel Smith. Picks up 20 on the play. Three plays later, it's Storner to Anthony Lucas. Seven-yard touchdown, 7-0 seven Arkansas. Fourth quarter, Bulldogs down 17-7. They're on the move. Matt Wyatt, who was just 11 for 34, throws deep into double coverage. That's never a good idea. Andrea Moss, the nice interception. And in the college football, West Virginia, Notre Dame. Bob Davey looking on. Second quarter, tied at seven. Amos Zeroway breaks through for a 60-yard run. A career day for the sophomore. 234 yards for the sophomore tailback born in the Ivory Coast. Set up a touchdown, 14-7 West Virginia. Now we're tied at 14 in the fourth quarter. Ron Paulos back to pass. Hits Bobby Brown, 11 yards for the touchdown. Paulus, 9 of 17, 156 yards. 21-14 Irish. Last chance for the Mountaineers, Mark Bulger. Lofts one for Sean Foreman. And he will make the catch in the end zone, but he was out of bounds, although he did catch six balls on the day. And for the first time since their Purdue and Jay Rogers hands to Jason Spears. He fumbles right into the hands of Lee Johnson, and he is off to the races. 36 yards for the touchdown. Purdue up 21-7, and they go on to win and get the coveted Oaken Bucket, the symbol of in-state football rivalry with the Hoosiers. We're coming back right now. What do you say? Come on! Yeah! Aztecs in your face. Consider yourself warned. Colorado State, San Diego State in the wax. CSU up 7-3. Frank Rice, his first career TD reception, 41 yards, and Gives the ball to Pops. Third quarter, Colorado State up 31-3 now. Jamie Bennett picks it off, takes it back for the TD. Come on. We might be losing, but we're having to Got it up, baby. Yeah. It's quite a routine. Colorado back in Pittsburgh. Hokies looking to clinch a share of the Big East title. Anthony Midget looming large in the third quarter with Pitt up 15-6. Takes it back for the TD. Virginia Tech down just two. Fourth quarter, 23-16 Panthers. Pete Gonzalez to Kevin Barlow. 56 yards for the TD. And the Berg pulls off the upset. 
Panthers win it by seven. One of the biggest rivalries, Iowa and Minnesota, battling for the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy. Third quarter, Hawkeyes already up 17 zip. It's Tim Dwight, the nation's leading punt returner, 44 yards for the TD. Iowa wins it 31 zip, and they get the trophy, which is a pig. And there it is. Cal at Stanford, the 100. Big game, Chad Hutchinson. With the Cardinal up 13-7, dumping it to Troy Walters. 36-yard touchdown, Stanford in front, 21-7. They win the big game, not to be confused with the game, 21-20, because Harvard and Yale is the game as we head to New Haven, Connecticut. Harvard looking to take a bite out of Yale and the Bulldogs, but it didn't happen. Chris Menick, 22 carries, 167 yards. He gets into the end zone, his 14th TD of the season, set the single-season rushing record for the Crimson. More Harvard now. Rich Linden, it was 12 for 19 to Jared Chipila. Nice move, gets into the...